Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project, Tiffin Ordering System. And I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL. The version for the PHP I am using is the PHP version 7 and MySQL version is 5.6. Also, I am using the Jam server for running this project. But if you have the WAMP server or other PHP based server, then you can easily configure and run this project also. Right, so for Windows system, you can use uh, uh, WAMP or Jam for Linux operating system. You can use LAMP linux apache mysql php and for mac operating system you can install it on the jamp or the map stack right so these all server technologies i have used for developing this project but uh, uh for front-end development it's a web-based project so for front-end development i have used html css and javascript and some of the jquery library also for developing it right so we have used jquery for creating sliders integration of our date calendar plugins etc right so let's start with the functionality go through so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a simple home page and the stat and the content of this home page are static there is nothing dynamic on it this is a about project and it's about this is a category all of the category means what type of category it's a tiffin right so tiffin will be dinner lunch or breakfast and what type of category you want to order right so if you click on the category so currently there is nothing on the breakfast side so there is uh, many of the food options available for the um, uh, for the lunch right so you can see category and after that once you click on the lunch then you are getting a lot of options here that what type of option do you want to order right so this is a monday meal this is a tuesday wednesday thursday right so uh, meals has been divided uh, have been divided in two days right so suppose to, if today is thursday or uh, tuesday or so you can order according to that so this is the uh, item details that what the cost and the details of the items and once you click on the add to cart it will ask for your id and password without uh, using your credentials you will not be able to log inside the system right so username uh, if you don't have the user id and password then you can register right so let me go through by other menus uh, so this is the thali types that uh, these are the thali types non vegetarian maraza meals or deluxe meal that what type of mix do you want to order and you can buy the subscription also if you click on the view menus you will be able to see the menus options right if you click on the buy subscription then again you will uh, without uh, log inside the system you will not be able to buy the uh, subscription right this is a high type this is a login from where you will be able to log in and this is a registration if you don't have the user id and password then you can register in the system from this page and using your username and password you will be able to log you will be able to log in and you will be able to uh, order for the food you will be able to buy the sub subscription this is a contact us page and it's a static contact us page i'm not sending or saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database right now i am going to log in as an admin so there are two types of login here in the system the first one is admin second one is a customer right so admin is a super admin who can perform uh, all operations right so let me log in through admin admin and test so once you click on login as admin then this dashboard will come right <laughs> so let me go through one by one home already explained to you about this about project already explained to you this is a dashboard right and this is a dashboard from here you will be able to jump on that page on clicking on the menu right so this is the admin category right the same menu option available here above the header bar right so let me go through one by one this is a add type may see you can add at the type say it's a maharaja meal or it's a super meal or deluxe meal so this type of uh, types you can add from here right this is the add category again the, this is a category name you can add here right so this is the next one is add product from here you will be able to <coughs> add the product means uh, what type of meal you are providing and the companies and types and the that sorry this is a category and the description and the image image of that food items right product means your meal box right you can add any number of meal box here <coughs> so there are three types of forms here this is a report this is a type reports so you can see there are two types available maraja meal and deluxe meals you can edit it right you can edit it update it right so i am saving this value and after that if you want to search any menu suppose if you have uh, 
more than 100 types then you can search it from here so this is the real time search this is the real time sorting pagination will be enabled after 10 records right this this is a smart table this is a category report all of the categories will be displayed here you can edit and update it here right this is a product report you can see all of the meals uh, which uh, uh, you have added will be displayed here so this is a meal and there are 10 more than 10 records that's why it's showing uh, 1 to 10 of 10 uh, 1 to 10 of 14 it is and you can see this pagination is working fine even you can search here right so you can search anything sunday meal you can see there are two sunday meals available here <laughs> right so this is the uh, product report all of the meals report right this is subscription report right so this reports means suppose if you want to subscribe for a meal for a month then this is a subscription report and all of the buy, uh, customer who bought the subscription records will be displayed here right if you click on the view details then you will be able to see the start date and date, end date and the type of the meals here right this is a subscription report and order report this is a single order report means what the user has ordered uh, for a single meal right so you can see the details here right so you can see this is the details and the user has ordered this meal <coughs> right so this is order report this is a change password from where admin will be able to update his account password and after updating his password he will be able to log in with his updated password <coughs> right so log out once you click on the logout then all of the administration menu will be hidden and he will not be able to access it right so you can see administration menus are not available here but if you log in the administration menus are available here right if you log out then administration menus are not available because this is a session driven menu it renders according to the session right now i am going to log in as a customer <coughs> once you log in as a customer then uh, these are all operations you can perform right now i am going to uh, order right all tiffin foods right so you can see this is the tiffin foods if you click on it add to cart and this uh, you have added into the cart if i increase the quantity the cost will be increased automatically and once you click on the place order it will ask for your card details this is a dummy card right nothing and uh, no need to adding the no need to add the valid card details it's a dummy only just enter any garbage value and once you click on the make payment you will be able to see that your order number 14 has been placed on 27th of december right so this is the uh, uh, all tiffins right so you can see here right now this is the all categories so you can see this is the categories and you can uh, again uh, filter out the foods according to the category that what's there in the lunch what's there in the meal right again the all types so i'm going to buy the subscription so this is the menus option right so view menus so you you can see the menu here from here right now i'm going to buy subscription so it's asking for the this is the details of the tiffin and it's asking for the subscription right so 27 to suppose i am adding for one month at 31st of December, once you click notes, don't make it too easy. Right, and submit. <coughs> once you click on the submit, then you will be able to see all of your subscription. Right, so this is all of the subscription. There is a first subscription on from 9th September to 25th September, and there is a second subscription 27th December to 31st January right so th these two subscription you have right okay so this is the order types already explained this is a my administration here you can see uh, my orders you will be able to see only your orders right not the other customer orders even you can see the details here right this is my subscription all of the subscription which you have purchased will be displayed here this is my account from where you will be able to update your account details and the change password from where you will be able to update your account password and the logout once you click on the logout then administration menu will not be displayed so let me show you so you can see the customer administrator menu administration menu is not displayed right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project if you know system and as i told you earlier this is a major project which i have developed in php 
version 7 and the master version 5.6 and you can easily add and configure this project on the jam server for configuration assistance you can watch the php project setup video and after watching that video you will be able to configure this project easily on your local system right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it in the comments i will incorporate the changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much